yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's in the docket right now. Is that Jesus right? fucking Christ. Yeah. Hey. Uh, congratulations, Nino, by the way. Thank you very much. Yeah, what yeah. What did she say? Yeah, I wasn't there for it. Uh, oh, the wedding or the uh, the mayorship? The proposal. Is hey, Espino still here? Uh, he's just had a headache. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. All right. Oh, how's it going, Nova? How you doing? Uh, he's, he's, he's not actually coming back. He can't come back. He can't. Apparently. Okay. So no, I, I wanted the I wanted to get some clarity as to you know what I witnessed yesterday and today and the retort you had. Yeah, I um, also need clarity on that. So y'all are providing oversight, right? But inherently, by having marshals come up and say you got to do this, this, and this. You're kind of setting a precedent for law enforcement to follow a formula that they cannot inherently, they may not be able to articulate. So what what is the concern about providing further guidance? Because without so, that guidance, you're potentially having law enforcement go out there, follow a formula that they themselves will lead to them not being able to articulate probable cause, which in turn means that we have citizens that are getting charged with something inappropriately. So... We're not just an oversight, we do corrective measures too. And if there's okay. a corrective measure, it doesn't have to go to a one singular person in the PD, it needs to go out to everyone. Now, I don't That's have great. the context That's of good. what what uh, what uh, Espinos had to deal with from yesterday. I believe, I, I think I can clarify this, Nino. All right, so I believe that, that people were observing handoffs and getting pictures of handoffs mm. uh, and had people having drugs and stuff and the charge not being applied, right? Yeah. Right? That there is probable cause to charge in that in that circumstance which it should be charged right i it, think that's it, all it, it, is trying to say and so okay. i agree with you but the thing is the i, I disagree and and i'm going to tell you why mm -hmm. uh probable cause is requires the individual officer to be able to articulate the probable cause so and i'm going to give you i'm going to explain what i mean by that because it's a bit if you, um, so first let's start with, I understand why it's transaction instead of sale, because a transaction does not need to be monetary, right? So if a handoff is not seen, but they have baggies on them, they've got money on them, etc. Yes, a officer can articulate it. But if you blanketly say, if there is no handoff, you have the probable cause you're inferring that that officer I don't, automatically has it without the articulation. I don't believe that was said yesterday. I think that Espino said if you had pictures of the handoffs, that's that's when you do it. No, like, no, at... no, no. He said you don't need a picture. Like, yep. uh, explicitly said you don't need a picture. And you don't I'm need... Not... Yep. The, the other I'm, thing is... I can't it... speak to on Espinosa's behalf, so I'm not, I'm not Yeah, we to. We need to have a discussion about that because, I mean, it, it's not... Like Nino saying, you're you're literally shutting down uh, articulation within the police force, and and you're uh, ultimately telling them it's okay to operate off of if and then statements. Where it's like, um, I, I I think one of the things I want to see that we are lacking is a investigative procedure kind of uh, take play I mean, in these situations. Even, but I don't think in it's now, intentional, by the way. But it, but I but think that's the, how it, it can sorry, be so interpreted. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. In the announcement, it says the charge of criminal transaction of drugs is to be pushed if also have probable cause where sales of receiving drugs have been committed by an individual. This can be proven by receiving calls to sales drugs in area and a whole call, witnessing a handoff and documenting it via photographs, right? I mean, it's written down. Yeah. It but, says and... you do not need a pattern of behavior slash history of the individual to push the charge. But it was stated yesterday in the meeting explicitly that you didn't need photos of this. It, exactly. Um, exactly which, what Peter said. Which, which... Okay, well, I, I think this is a conversation you need to have with Marshall Espinosa, because uh, I, I can't speak on his behalf. Well, oh, I, well, it. I mean, we. I, so I, I'm sorry, so, ma'am. What, uh, what was it? What's your name on the I'm, on the right? I'm I don't Anna. think we met. Anna. Lockhart. Anna. So, um, even kind of it... beyond this, right? My point with the training is, you said that you guys are oversight and you know corrective measures. Yeah. Is that not training? So. Here's the thing. I do agree with you. There is a circumstantial evidence. There needs to be a whole investigation to prove your point mm. or, or the PC that is required. The, the handoff photographs and stuff like that. 
if that has been said and that's that's the case then yeah that is it but we will give you just the procedures on how to do it because the pnt of lsbd and bcso also have a job to do if absolutely. they are absolutely absolutely yeah, so this falls more on how they should be training their cadets on how to become a better officer has there been so any this... meetings with pnt to see if that training is, is in place all of bcso in cyprus oh that must be neat. oh jesus eight, oh. christ okay. Oh, okay i just look all right uh i agree with that there, there needs to be a borrowed discussion with the uh pnt if this is on a broader yeah. scale now i don't know what this particular incident was but it was if it was done for an announcement then it needs to then i'm sure that uh, mm. it, it would have gone through the PNT or would have gone through us, but as far as I'm no, I've been made aware that it was a discussion with Trick already. And Trick said you can do it, so Espen has decided to announce it. I... Okay, yeah, but that's out of band, right? In what way? What Espen has announced on behalf of the captain? No, Trick. Trick said you you can announce it. I see. Okay. Okay. So if Trick um, didn't want to announce it. Then yeah, I think we. Too. I think we need. To, I think we need to talk to Espinos. Um, to be honest, I think it's better to talk to yeah. Espinos. But it's uh, just. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, I mean, it's going to go yeah. around on because now it's okay. Now it's gone to Trig said that he could do it. Right. Or Espinos is the one doing it. Uh, no, yeah. Trig definitely. Trig definitely said that Espinos write up an announcement and put it out. He. I, even he I yes, remember that. Yes, that, that is correct. He said that. So Espinos made the statement, which and which was an odd one. I think he tried to summarize the thought. Uh, but then I think then, he counted that point, and, and then, then he said he said about the pictures. I believe you were there for that. I, I was, yes. And then Trig and said, then and, then. and then yes, and Trig said, "This isn't an announcement. Can you write something up and send it?" Right. Yeah, I, I mean, regardless, I, uh, Espinos needs to be here. We need to, yeah. I, I, I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, uh, here, here's the issue, issue Nova, right? And I'm going to tell you from my perspective, because your training, da 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 right? Those are all like, um, that's in your space. I look at it like this. Um, I am witnessing um, effectively a marshal saying, you guys need to do this, right? And that can be interpreted by officers. Well, I gotta follow this formula, and as a cons that it has negative consequences to the citizenry of Los Santos County. Does that make sense? Sure, you you feel free to have that opinion. Yeah. Yes, as the elected, democratically elected official that represents the people. Yeah. Yeah, you're entitled to that. To that I mean, opinion. that shootout. That's probably someone who thought they had pc but they might not and now people are dead okay <laughs> i i think that's i i think that might be a a stretch that might be i mean that might most be shootouts i think you might, stem from you might be going from uh, no most shootouts do not in, end like in that cyprus? no in cyprus absolutely not uh, well are you people saying just kidnap people just take cop cars you know and drive them to cyprus and try and bait them in to shoot the cop car they do not come from why some legal high ground i don't know the democratic high ground yeah but you know <laughs> don't 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 portray uh you know criminal the stuff that happens in certain areas as retaliation to what to what cops do we're very well aware the, the, of what, it is what, what do you mean do. you're saying it's not retaliation some of it is some of it isn't Okay, well, so then what, 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 why is there increased violence in Cyprus? As an example, given that it just happened. I, I'm not mind reading, Nina. Yes, but do you not ask those questions? Uh, I don't personally know. Okay, and that's why I am. Because the heart of bringing violence down is not always violence begets violence. And if there is a root cause that is causing violence, figuring out what that root cause is. Okay, do you believe there should it? be any safe haven in this city where crime should be safe? You're, what, what does that have to do with anything? I, I'm asking you a question. Does that have... Because every time we've been down to Cyprus, yeah. or I have observed TRT go down to Cyprus, yeah. they do their job. They try and get photos of handoffs, and okay. then people may push or press them out of the area. Okay. Um, so then why was there an announcement? About what? The one that Espinos made. 
I, again, again, you're asking me as if I'm a mind reader. I do not speak. On you you just stated that you witnessed that they're doing things correctly, but I the announcement yesterday witness, yes. is contradictory. Do I contradictory witness every single that. call that goes on? Exactly. So there's clearly, it, 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 while you may be witness to probable cause being met. If there is an announcement made by a marshal stating that it is not being charged correctly, right, then that begs the question as to whether people are being detained and charged inappropriately. Otherwise, there would have been no statement made yesterday. And uh, you you said that is there should there be a safe haven for crime? No one said anything like that. However, if there is violence, figuring out what the root cause of that violence is paramount. What is your contention with my statement to begin with? What do you think I, I I'm saying? I, I think you're misconstruing the way I speak as some kind of contention or yeah. some kind of like argumentative standpoint. I'm simply not. I'm simply just, I can't speak on somebody else's behalf. Understood. Okay. Right. And I'm advocating what I, all I am simply advocating is um, you're a person of the people. And I understand. Correct. That. And if uh, a state entity is telling police what to do without guidance, that can very obviously lead to um, them acting. Um, what are, What's the best way to put this? If they're being told that you, they have to do follow a formula, like if then statements, that can lead to a lot of, uh, you know, inappropriate uh, behavior. Confusion, escalation, rights violations, because, you know, what they're going to say is, well, I did this because someone told me to do it, but they don't know the who, what, where, why. Yeah, you look I... I I, I think that sorry to cut you off the the big thing is is there's you're skipping a step in our in in articulation and ultimately it's going to fucking cripple whatever we're working on um thank you tyler that's exactly th what I'm that saying. that's the bottom line regardless i think that's what we need to get down to uh without going around in circles too much yeah um, i think we're just uh, going when, around in circles at this point uh no, no yeah but but let me finish so uh when espinos is around um i would love to i don't know you know if you want to talk to him i i need to talk to him on clarification because yeah. Uh, I, I mean, it's, I, I don't want to say it's going to be like, people are going to be doing shit in bad faith, but I mean, you were literally skipping a step in the investigative process, which could lead to yeah more of a shit show than we we're currently having right now. More of a shit show than we're having right now. I, I think if not if, not this situation, just the PD. Yeah, I mean, if the heart of the issue is training, right? If people do not know what they're doing, it seems more reasonable to go to the training department and telling them straight up. But announcing something, right, is gonna is gonna misguide them. And I'll, I'll use an example. You had the okay, deputy, yeah, yeah, Nino, you had the Nino, deputy Nino, marshal, Nino, Nino, Nino. you had the deputy Nino, Nino. marshal stand up within this very room and state that if you look at Skyface leaked documents, they're going to get fired because it's illegal. You know, the wrong things rougher than them, right? Like, I'm sorry? I don't think the wrong things that happen within the marshals or anything yet, where we recommend them. So if those kind of things just happen, again, we, we take care of that. Apart yeah, I'm not... I'm not... What, apart, okay. No, no, no. Apart from Go ahead, sorry. the things that we're currently talking about, which is a... Uh, I, I suppose you want us to talk to CPNT first. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's all, right. all I'm advocating. I think it'd be significantly more productive. And I think people are going to learn from that, right? And that's kind of really what I'm advocating for. And I, I think that because, look, I've got, if, if I went into with my staff, right? And I'm just, I, I said some vague thing. People are not going to interpret it and digest what the meaning behind that is. And they're going to misfire. All right. Uh, if people want PNT to be involved, uh, we always we we invite PNT to be in these kind of talks. But again, uh, or, or, or I mean, you guys could come talk to me as well or Moss. So yeah. the thing is, here's the thing: it was talked to Trig. Trig. We again, if it was witnessed in front of Trig, we speak to Trig. It goes. It trickles down from top to bottom. 
But if your command or your high command has already told to do it, then it was done that way. Now, is that, again, Espinos would answer that question more. Uh, it's a question for Espinos how it actually went down, correct? Uh, I, so, I guess I guess the question is, yeah. did Trig implement this, or did Espinos decide that as he wants it? I'm, as far as I'm aware, it was told to Trig to do it, but Trig said you can do it and you should do it. Right, which, but In but the, ultimately, ultimately, the, the 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 thing that was being explained, regardless of it was Trig, and you guys are considered an ultimate authority uh, in the state. If even if you come to my high command, you guys say something. Um, I think that Trig is just going to say, okay, go for it. Uh, but the the reality is is I I, I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot you 100% straight like Nino brought up this is the this is the second time we're kind of getting I don't not false information but you know information that we shouldn't be operating be on is it is it yep mm -hmm. yeah I, I mean I mean shit happens but that's it shit shit fucking happens yeah um it, it is what it is but you know now. Oh, Dutch has been spawning. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I, there's nothing more I love than, than repeating everyone's self like 50 times over, but I don't want to go in a perpetual circle. You want to speak to Espinoz. When Espinoz yeah. is around, Perfect. you're more than welcome to have a conversation with him to get any clarifying points you may wish. Is he not coming back? Oh, there uh, he no. is. I don't know. Perfect. Oh, what do you mean? He's right there. Is he? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think he Where fell he? through the world. Ugh. No, no, he's right he's, here. He's right there. He's right there. Oh, I see him now. Oh. Hmm, I can't hear. It's gonna come back. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. I need 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, yeah, take your time. Medi Hali, Medi H, Medi Clap 2. I hung up. I love you. Oh, we're going to stand on business. Yes, Nino's interpreting this like, well, we're just going to arrest people and they just shoot us. I understand what Den's fucking philosophy comes from. Have you been on the radio? You know what happened in Cyprus? Uh, no, I turned the radio off. Barrett was down there. Yeah. You good, Espinos? All right, sorry about that. I've been having issues at this time. No worries. Let us know right, when you're good. good. What's up? Um, so I came to chat with you. I wanted Tyler here as well. So you heard what it is that I had to say. Um, and Anna right. was here too. So here, here's, here's what I was getting at at the meeting. And, um, I, I'm going to be honest. I took a bit of umbrage with the response. Um, Obviously, you guys have oversight over the departments, but where from where I'm standing, um, it sounds to me like y'all are telling a room full of officers, you need to operate under this formula, right? Which is you should have where the statement should be, could be you should have enough to obtain probable cause for transaction of a drug sale. But instead, it's you have enough to push transaction of a drug sale, which, which, whether intentional or not, infers that if certain criteria are met without an officer being able to personally articulate the set of charges, they are to press them. And uh, if- Okay, would you like me to read the charge that, the, the I, announcement I, I'm, that I put in? Uh, the announcement is fantastic, right? Uh, but uh, yes, uh, but but even even suffice to this because I was there yesterday and I know that you had to put it out. Is yeah. my advocacy here is as follows: is is it not more productive to either a train in the particular area that you see is um, a concern, or work with the PNT to ensure the training is given, so that a standing up in a meeting and saying you guys need to do this, which can be taken Smiley in face. as a SOP and a directive in turn leading to officers 
failing to detain, charge someone appropriately, and potentially lead to rights violations. It doesn't seem rather productive. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can, if uh, PNT wishes to uh, sit down with me and uh, clear everything up and get something sorted so PNT can actually uh, teach it forward, I'm, I'm more than okay I, to help I, out. I think that you guys should approach him. You know what I mean? Um, because the thing is, like, you know, so the, the, the root of this announcement yeah. was that... Um, Could you read it uh, for been, me? Could you read it? Uh, do you want me to read the announcement? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. The San Andreas State Marshals have been finding numerous reports of situations where arrests during drug operations have been performed and the charge of criminal transaction of drugs was not pushed. The state, San Andreas State Marshals would like to provide the following clarification. The charge of criminal transaction of drugs is to be pushed if officers have probable cause where sales or receiving of drugs have been committed by an individual. This can be proven by receiving calls of sale of drugs in an area, witnessing a handoff, and documenting it via photographs. Uh, you do not need a pattern of behavior or history on the individual to push the charge criminal transaction of drugs. Now put a disclaimer because um, uh, Den uh, and um, other individuals were under the impression that you needed a pattern to push criminal transaction of drugs, which uh, criminal transaction of drugs is translated to sale of drugs in simple terms. Mm, it's it's the same as sale of drugs. It doesn't need monetary Correct. transaction. So you could Correct. you could get transaction just for getting a blowjob. Like you don't know what's happening in that handoff. I get it. If you, if you if you like to put well, it I mean it's way. whatever right like you don't have to see yeah. money exchanging hands is correct. the point correct so I, I I made sure to state that uh, they definitely need to have like have sufficient probable cause I give them yeah. the examples of the probable cause because the thing is like on during drug operations um especially uh, members of TRT uh, they were processing individuals with high mm. amounts of drugs uh, and money on them and they just charged them with possessions uh, when they had uh, in the reports and statements that they had uh, it was a drug drug area so 34 yeah. call they had uh witnessing uh, pictures of handoffs and they had the product in the, with them so that's that's the main issue and then additional, yeah. the additional issue was people believing that they needed a pattern uh to even push criminal transaction of drugs isn't there a higher charge that they need the pattern for Hold on, I'm yeah, trafficking. No. Uh, it's drug trafficking, yeah. Yeah, drug trafficking yeah. and uh, uh, felony possession with intent to distribute. That's one of the possible problems. Yes. But it can yeah, be, felony but possession it, with intent to distribute. Yeah, but it can also be inferred with other circumstances, such as okay. uh, high grade uh, military weaponry, large Lots amount of, of drugs. Exactly. Okay. It's all about okay. articulation. I, and, I, um, I think we're on the same page then. That's been, That was my biggest. That's why I want to talk to Anna too. Is uh, her response originally was, we don't do training, we're only oversight. And and I feel like that's kind of a misfiring, right? Is, is I, I, I just believe that making just blanket announcements is not going to resonate with people, regardless of whether it's a police department, whether it's the mayor's office, whatever it is, right? Because... Yeah, I understand, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, and... Uh, who's I, the PNT lead of the, the LSPD? Um, you can talk to Maxwell for the time now. We got to get yeah. a new PNT. Avery just got a job in Liberty City. It was Avery, but she just got a job in Liberty City, so we got to pick up a new one. Okay. Yeah, Avery would have been really hard for me to see. I've, I never really mm. caught her in duty. She's super late for me. But uh, I can talk to Maxwell about it. Because at the end of the day, I want I want quality officers around. And uh, uh, I, I was a police officer for nine years. And I, I still want what's best for the PD. Yeah. Like, I, uh, I care about the PD still. Yeah. And if we have uh, competent officers on duty, it helps me with my job as well. I, absolutely. So. And, and I think doing it, making, because, look, here's the thing. Um, and I'm going to give you a bit of insight why I'm so, like, putting, like, drilling into this so deeply. Uh, before I was mayor, most of my court cases ended in officers not being able to articulate RSMPC. The argument, like literally every fucking bench trial and, and case. Um, and that's recently, it's the worst it's ever been. 
And uh, so that drives to the point that offices may not know these basics. And so if things are ballooning up and you're seeing an issue, well, going back and saying, uh, drilling back and finding out what that problem is, I think is very important, right? Why is this happening? Where is there misunderstanding? So can I ask a clarifying question? Uh, sure. So, uh, d don't miss I, I thought I just heard you say it's the worst it's ever been. Is that, is that what you just said? Uh, correct. Okay. Why do you think that is? Uh, oh, I'm not going to open up that can of worms. Well, I mean, I mean, we're speaking open and honestly, right? Uh, we are, but I don't think, uh, it'd be appropriate. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah, I, at the end of the day, I... I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you this answer. Sorry, Espinosa is yeah. I think offices do not know RSPC articulation at the very basics. I guess that was, uh, like, I did have an issue with kind of that announcement you gave yesterday where you kind of said you do not need a photograph. Uh, no, 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 I never said that. Nino's not going to be no, no, super no, 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 honest I, about it because it, it, it's, it's irrelevant. Yeah, it, it in it's not, Nova's yeah, not going to do anything about it. I remember him saying about Nino, patterns, Nino just be shit like, talking. you do not need a pattern. I don't remember. I, I remember him walking away from the podium and he was specifically saying, as long as you've got the, you know, the picture, the money, the drugs, uh, you know, everything you can articulate probable cause, you can push it and you should push. It. Mm, I, I mean, maybe it, people... it, 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 what we are talking, th this is exactly the point, right? You go up on the podium and you say, here's the formula, and no one's going to remember that, and they're going to get some scuffed version of it. Because like it's... Exactly. That's exactly it. And... Which is hence why I think Trig made the right call to say, hey, this has to be, like, in writing. But then I'm also going a step further and saying, TNT should be directly involved. Because if you guys are seeing things on the field, like, you've been a cop for a while, right? You're seeing some dog shit work. I, I think it behooves as an oversight, whatever, whatever, go on PNT and be like, yo, this is a huge fucking problem. We need to find a way to like train in this specific area because the consequence for civilians is, yeah, people are shooting cops. People are selling drugs, but there are those that are also going to get like illegally detained and bad things that shouldn't be happening, taking place as, as the alternative consequence, right? So there's going to be people that are going to get away. But there's also going to be a, a set of people that are going to get their rights violated over it. So uh, I, I've got another another point to raise around uh, a big thing that was brought up here is an officer being able to articulate the probable cause of the charge being pushed, right? Which 100% you are correct. Uh, so my question would be, uh, if a situation happens where the situation goes on for three hours uh, and then you have three, four, ninety-fives that go to different PDs. Uh, that should not and... happen. I'm very against that, and I was stopped. That's fucking it... dumb as shit. I, I can tell you that's not stopped. <laughs> I know it hasn't. I passed push legislation to change that. Uh, it was denied, but I had so much other shit on my plate that I needed to focus elsewhere. Uh, I'm a strong advocate that wherever the crime begins is the county that it should be processed i from two weeks after getting into office i was getting phone calls about w some people being down here some people being out there mm -hmm. and people were just crying about needing their budget money and i'm like you dumb motherfuckers you're literally fucking people over not only your own officers because now you're having to play telephone tag but now lawyers might have a client down here and up there over the same situation you're you're alive how the fuck are you gonna write a it's, unified it's report awful. like it's actually it's, brain it's dead and it it's selfish and thing. it's it's dumb and and the and the fact that it's being done is so fucking gross to me because because let's be honest it's so people can pump their own accounts so they can buy shit for themselves like interceptors and upgrades it's disgusting i i really i really like on these major calls peters um on major calls that transpire in the future, uh, if I have to pull the oversight card and I tell people they are all being processed no, at the same I, area, I wish you would. 
I okay, mean, I can't be out there. I, I can't. I can't be out there 100 percent of the time. Uh, I, I expect, CSO, wherever, I don't uh, care. If, it, if it's a big call it, like this, it. it uh, I agree. It needs to be dealt with. The, uh, it needs to be dealt with at fucking. You know what I mean. The other yeah. thing is also you're doing them a disservice because if they require lawyers, uh, now you're split. Uh, you're kind of yep. like splitting it, and I mean, it could be. They can't. It, it could be illegal because they can't even. Like, what are you gonna do? They're gonna drive back up. I need to get the other client yep. side of it. Are we both uh, going to bench? People well, I mean, have actually been charged with different is, shit as a consequence. Like, that I'm right to a speed. Uh, fucking, what is? Do do we have? Yeah. Uh, one, um. I one, I agree. One thing I will point out, uh, though, is keep in mind wherever the crime begins is where it needs to happen because that county needs restitution i would very much recommend uh nova having a chat with barrett he went down this rabbit hole a while back he too was kind of put on pause so um i think um i i i think that uh i think it's safe to say that um well, no, I wouldn't say 90% of crime happens in the city. I would probably say it's more like 70-30, in my opinion. Uh, big calls. I mean, there's yeah. a, the, the, the reality is there's a ton of crime that happens up there. It's just what people want to yeah. take the time to. And, I mean, uh, it, it, moonshine, it, weed, drugs. It, there's a ton of shit that goes on up there. Yeah. It's, it's the calls where you could just easily show up to and do very little investigative work happens down here. I'll say that. Most yeah. of the alarms probably go off down here. Un yeah, absolutely. But it's such a dog shit argument by by you know that i've had to deal with which is well most of it happens in the city well then don't fucking over high it dumb fuck you know what i mean like mm. you know it's it's such a you know could you imagine um i go and hire 20 people into the mayor's office and stop paying them a ton of money and there's no work to do you know and then they're like, oh, well, I'm going to go work for Pred because there's no work down here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, no, or the other it. way around. It's just so fucking idiotic. Right. Um, but I have a question. Um, there was uh, let me just say this. There was a warrant pushed on an off or on a person yesterday. Um, there was no PC for the warrant. It was approved by BCSO command. Um, that person was brought in and and talked to. Is that something that is something I should be reporting to the marshals? Are you talking about the one that I think talking about? I think so, probably. It's everyone knows about it. Okay. Yeah, we're aware right. of it. Uh, I'm, I'm not aware of it. I, uh, I don't know that. if that's something that I need to report to you. Am, am I? Am, you don't I, need to report. I, I, okay, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't like obligated to report this mm -hmm. shit to you. Okay, that's it. This sounds oh. like this sounds like internal. Well, inter yeah. uh, well, well, it wouldn't be internal. No, it's not because it's targeting a violation a... of rights. And you're of the I mean, mayor. I mean, uh, it's literally a, a ton of things that would not be internal. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not privy of this. Uh, so I mean, I'm there there's malicious prosecution Wait, I'm happening. Just gonna, I'm just gonna. There was no PC I'm just for gonna, an arrest. I'm it just gonna say we're aware. Like everything a marshal should be okay. doing. With. Yep. May, okay. Can I? Can I? I'm gonna actually. While we're on this, I got one other question. Um, mm -hmm. if a individual has their rights violated, but they are unconscious. How do we confirm that that unconscious individual is told about the situation that has transpired with them? Uh, Look, I'm, I'm just going to be out with it. What the fuck happened with this Helen the Felon bullshit? Because there's a lot of pissed off individuals about that. That situation uh, was investigated for, by the marshals and actions were taken. And Wait. is the victim aware? Is the victim aware of what transpired? I don't think they were, no, I, I don't think they were contacting, contacted about the results in disciplinary. Wait, and, hold on. And, and like w would they not? They were literally a victim. How are they going to get restitution? I mean, uh, I can, uh, they can get contacted. Well, I, I, I think wait, it needs, to, who's handling it? Well, 
Oh, it was handled already. It was handled by uh, a lot of marshals, actually. Okay. What, well, what was the, I, I am what was only going to. I'm going to only advocate that that victim needs to know what happened to them while they were unconscious. Otherwise, it is a massive fucking issue. I mean, they, is, they should know about it. Uh, I'll, I'll, get, I'll, I'll, I'll just investigate it further. Yeah. I mean, what, what ended up happening out of it? Somebody's rights were violated and there was a, a felony committed and there was no... But keep in mind, right? There, person's in a hospital, they're unconscious. A member of law enforcement that has powers over everybody is not only going through a phone, but is fucking sticking a fucking gun in their mouth, and God knows what else, and they don't know any of this happened. Well, that 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 was extrapolated. That never happened. Uh, I don't know who told you that, but that's that that's, part of the situation did not happen. The gun yeah, and I the think, phone uh, and shit. Multiple people. Yeah. Well, like I said, there's a lot of pissed off individuals because that's what happens when like everything is kind of swept under the rug. Wait, hold on, hold on. Which part? The violating of the rights, or... Which part didn't happen? I'm confused. Uh, the gun? Part of, well, like, putting a gun in his mouth. That did not happen. Uh, but somebody's rights were violated? I think it's more than that. It's more like... Like, sounds like assault with a deadly weapon. So, I mean... Okay, I... I have to get clarification whether I can further expand on that investigation, but we did conclude an investigation. I, 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 my, I my, only, my only, like, advocacy here is the amount of unrest that has been coming my way over the past uh, couple weeks over people not knowing who it is is an issue. And my as far as long as that victim clearly is knows and gets access to what happened to them, while in the custody of the hospital and custody of law enforcement, as long as that is communicated, I like that's that's all I'm concerned with. Well, I I have a different issue considering that marshals came in here and said they were going to fire members of the LSPD if we read leaked documents from Skyface phones. Right. Uh, Peters, Peters, no, 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 no. this is a fair. Hold on, let me th let me finish. This is is this not a fair thing to bring up, Nova? I mean, members okay. of the marshals came okay, down no, here and hold on. Violation. No, no, I'll tell you right now, uh, because that was between two people. Uh, both were aware of what happened because the suspect's phone was never searched. By the way, that was between two other individuals that were that uh, they had they had a friendship and they both cleared that situation by themselves. So that so the victim was cool with it is what you're saying. Yes, in that regard. Yes. I see. Okay. There were multiple, there were, there was more than one person that wasn't conscious in that situation. And I, th I think a lot of people. Wait, more than up. one? Yeah, there were multiple people in the ICU in that situation. But I oh my that. God. All, all I have to say is that the civil rights violation part was solved between the two parties. And again, that's a civil action that was solved. Okay. Was it post facto solved? Post hold, on, hold on a second. Did, did somebody report a crime? Did somebody report that their rights have been violated? That person knows what happened. No, 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 no. Answer that. I'm asking a question. Did somebody report that their rights had been violated or that there was a crime that took place? We took statements from Hold on. Yeah, it's a yes or no question. No, there was, not a, there was not a report by those individuals. That was a report that we caught internally and we investigated. So, So nobody reported it? The LSPD, uh, sorry, the the BCSO and the uh, officers that were in the incident, they moved it up the chain of command, and then it was brought up to the marshals. But was a crime reported? I, I think it's a simple yes or no I, statement. I think, it like I think what Espinosa is saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that the victim in this incident decided that they were cool with what happened, and they decided not to press charges. Correct. Is that correct? Okay. Well, I mean, if they're consenting, the civil, it is what civil, it is. The civil action, yeah. But, uh... That, that was uh, my only real concern, is... How, did this guy, person, actually know what transpired to them? So, yes, I mean, I, I, as yeah. far as I'm concerned, if if someone wants me to fucking shoot him in the fucking face, like, I mean, I don't give a shit, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna do it, but I mean, if two... One party tells the other person to, like, do some shit, 
or whatever and they're cool with it it's whatever you know what i mean crazy shit happens in the city still very concerning regardless it is it is and uh we're definitely keeping that situation it's just i yeah uh, it's it, the situation for the future as well yeah especially with those individuals involved yeah um has anything come up with um the situation about me being uh threatened by uh cassie uh the saints member with ventura I never got, did any marshal or anybody take that report for you? Uh, yeah, it was like two weeks ago. Who the fuck was it? Uh, Nova, did I report that to you? Report what, sir? Uh, Cassie threatened me at the end of an event uh, a week and a half ago in which I disrespected Ventura, her. It's, it's one of those like, you know, cop dating a criminal bullshits. But uh, she threatened me as a consequence. I, I, I don't. I think I've, I've dealt with everything you've given to me. I got gotcha. you. All right. You gave me you gave me the stuff with Ava that happened at the thing mm -hmm. that got dealt with immediately. Uh, I don't recall you ever mentioned anything with this. Okay. Um. Okay. I'll uh. I'm gonna confer with my notes. All right. Hey, I appreciate Espinosa. Thank you for the conversation. Like genuinely. Um. Yeah, I worries. uh. All right. And uh. Yeah, I hope. Let me know. Yep. yep. Absolutely. Uh, no, uh, okay, guys. Give me a ride. Yeah. Thank you. I like this Espinos guy because at least because he wasn't fucking defensive. You know what I mean? I the other I don't know understand I, why I there's immediate defensiveness. Oh I, I don't. I don't. Well, that's the thing. I think it's just like a. I, I don't know. I don't know. Am I? Was I like? Was I asking for that much? Like you're standing here telling, do this, do that. Like, do you think people are actually gonna like take in what the fuck you're saying? Like. If it's nope. that big of a concern, why are you not going to high command? Why are you not going to PNT? You're creating an environment where you're telling cops to do dumb shit with like half-baked explanations. He 100% and... said you don't, you don't have to take pictures yesterday, by the way. I just fucking wasn't I know that. he, I know he did. That's why it was so, like, I, I was so confused what was said yesterday. But that's uh... why you have to write it down, which thank God for Trig, and why the first step, why are they circumventing your department standing in the, it fucking pisses me off. And it's been for a while that they stand uh, around and then they dictate how the LSPD should operate, right? They only do it down here, not up north. They do it down here and they say, my... go and do this. But instead of doing the reasonable thing, which is talk to high command, Find out if there's an issue and then fucking train it. Otherwise, all you're doing is just swinging your dick around and possibly causing more problems. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know. I mean, I do know. So I'm glad I kind of put him on, um, on check, though. And I'm going to do that a little bit more because I look at that room and holy fuck you and Daisy, you fucking cook. You know what I mean? Uh, but on the really flip side... Holy shit, the shit that Nova was saying, I, I was fucking face palming. Like Jesus well, fucking Nova Christ. Saying? I just fucking started blocking everything bro, out. Yeah, bro, it was it was just fucking dumb dumb shit. It was just yap 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 dumb shit dumb shit. Like but now I'm starting to realize maybe this is why Den does what he does. I think he learned from Nova. Fucking drone operating over fucking neighborhoods, ass motherfucking drive through, get shot up, be like Pikachu face motherfucking ass oh, dude, no worry fucking, about why fucking, uh, why that causes uh, increased violence uh, yeah, doesn't yeah, matter because yeah, they're yeah, just yeah. gang bangers motherfucking ass well crim equals bad i got it yeah bro um, yeah I, I was listening during that part fucking uh, wake up at the hospital after two minutes but want to throw someone away for a million years ass motherfucking oversight my fucking dick i really i got the fucking <laughs> do not talk. I, did you see my text message? Uh, holy fuck, I had so many. Uh, do not bring anything up about the raid with Den. I can't talk about it, but I need you. Oh. Yeah, just leave it at, just leave it at that. Uh, why the why fuck would what, like, what, what do you mean i'm so confused I, I, uh, I... half the fucking <laughs> city knows about the fucking raid you know that right yes i know oh yeah which by the way 
Lit oh my god. Brother, there are random people on the street that know about the raid. I, I, I know. told Dennis, by the way, earlier that motherfuckers are leaking shit. But then again, are you surprised when... So I learned today from Den that apparently this guy named Loki was the one that was responsible for, like, taking everything. Do you know about this? Um, I, I I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, this is why I called him a fucking snake because when it was brought up to him, he, uh, he was, from what I understand, he was told that he was only documenting it and wasn't responsible for anything. I just, uh, I... And I quote, actually, and I quote, I was just documenting everything because PD is dog shit at documenting. My issue is as follows. Uh, I think... And I gen and I spoke to Moss about this uh, yesterday. That Den needs to. My expectation is that if TRT is to continue to operate, um, they need to be able to explain to the mayor why there are increased violence. Because if I cannot answer why things are happening, then I am not doing my job. And. I am left with only saying Den is doing dumb shit and causing shootouts. You get what I'm saying? I have no way to yes. communicate. I can't and I cannot go to them and be like, you're just gangbangers. That's it's idiotic. No one's gonna resonate with that. Um she understood she's gonna talk to him. But um I, what is happening to Den with this raid is fucking gross. It is, I don't, I'm not even fully tapped in, but just from the little bit I heard, it's like, does Den have the capacity, and I brought this up with Den, does he have the capacity to know, like I asked him earlier today, he's like, he said something like, I don't even, I, I don't know, he wasn't too concerned about whatever happens at the end of all this, right? And he said that he put people that he trusts to do what needs to be done to get things done. Makes sense. Delegation. But it's so fucking obvious that it's almost like there may have been some mess ups, but people within the department are making it worse. So he gets fucked and the LSPD gets fucked. Yeah, I mean, which that, is kind that... of fucking weird. Dan is suffering from what Moss and I have been suffering from the entire last three months where it's like, hey, you know what? Instead of being productive and approaching us and being like, hey, these things need to change. We need to do this better. We need to do that better. Um, Let me help you. That's not right. Let me sort this with you. Yeah. But instead, if you have people that are going immediately to to uh, fucking judges and shit, conflicting them, uh, you know, bringing up like like oh my god bro i if i listen if i was in den's place i would have fucking taken those guns and started blasting like i don't know how he's maintaining himself i don't think i'll ever do another raid again you know you know i asked him a question because he kept saying like oh but he's a good guy or like he's just stupid and i'm like that's not stupidity that is malicious like you, someone's destroying your shit were there fuck ups? Obviously, right? But there's like turning two fuck ups into a dozen, right? Well, the the a, a lot of the fuck ups are being blown out of fucking proportion. If I'm being 100 percent honest with you, I I, I don't want to know the details of it. I I I'd rather not know that info. Um, well, that's why. Uh, but, I mean, but, it's but, not even yeah. But I'm you get what I'm saying, I'll right? Say, I, yeah. I believe you. I believe you. But it's 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 one of those like. Oh my god, you should have heard my call with Ventura, brother. So, before I even say that, and, and Ventura kept like, Wait, or, or, sorry, Den kept downplaying what I was trying to tell him, that he needs to, like, um, watch out. People are going to find ways to screw him over, right, as has happened with this raid. And he kept say, downplaying it, and I said, tell me what you think would happen if you started going through your MDT, started looking at investigations people are working on and started talking to other people about it what would happen to you what would happen to most offices 
Yeah. Are you asking me or are you saying this is what you asked? So I, I, I told them. Yeah, that. okay, okay. Yeah. And yeah, what do you sorry. think? What would happen? Right? If I, I was mean, a cop and I started looking at other people's reports and started yapping about it in the hallways and to people outside the department. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're, uh, well, you'd probably it, it get depends, fired or suspended. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, I mean why, not only that, why you're, then, you're also undermining fucking your, you, the people you're supposed to be working alongside of. You were then undermining them and you were sowing doubts in the other minds of people which creates a fucking dysfunctional yes. working place that that's my issue with and everything. so the biggest raid in the history of all the pds hey what's going on on oh, okay. it's happening with that it's yes. crazy okay thank you take this skinny man thank you ma'am i appreciate it i don't want and this more. extra sugar Thank you. All right. Anyways. And this. Eat now. Oh. Okay. Thank you. On fire. I will guard. Okay. Thank you. Um. Yeah. I. I, I mean, m more so the. Uh, I mean, basically what I was saying. Yeah. Obviously, it's it's a it's a combination of things, but it's like, man, these. The other thing is, is like. The people that are undermining him aren't even doing this fucking this much work. They stand in fucking circles all day. Yeah. Pointing oh. fingers. What the fuck have they done? Is that a fuck up? 1000%. Have I screened at him? 1000%. Does he pit people in the walls at 180 degrees? Of course he does. Does he go into basic traffic stops, pull out a gun and escalate? Uh, yeah, he does. But you know what? At least he's out there. And at least he's willing to talk. And at least he's not standing around in a fucking circle like a snake, picking things apart as if that brings any fucking value to anybody these fucking gang dating snake slithering rat fucks need to go thank goodness Pred is the mayor of the north I'm gonna go walk away now Peters alright well I need to start campaigning soon here so. 